everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about getting a physical copy book, basically making a physical copy book. Now, last year when, you know, the virus was starting to hit and lockdowns were starting, I thought to myself, I should go more digital, focus only on digital. Before that, I was only going to make physical, I guess, maybe put off both, but I, I wanted to make physical because, you know, it's better to collect and stuff. It, it feels fun to collect and have a physical copy on your hand. But listen, I thought it would be more safer if I go digital and obviously I thought maybe I'll go on a site, post my, my files on it, upload it, and then make it into some kind of ebook, you know? But obviously I thought, you know, this will be fine. But no, selling on your own site, it costs more. So I'm not even joking. It costs more to even enable selling and stuff like that. So that was a big issue I have. And plus everything on that site, my website for the for the main brand, uh, the issue with that is it's so slow. Even on my laptop, it was so slow. And also on uh, this device I'm using to record, yeah, it was so slow to even use it on. And it, it kept struggling. That's why I don't edit my website anymore, if you're wondering, because I can't get through basic movement that's how slow it is. Maybe it's the device's fault. I hope I hope it is the device's fault. But just because when I get a better device, I want to edit on that site. And, you know, if, I, if I'm unable to edit on that site in the first place, then it's pointless, really, you know? It's so pointless. Anyways, so I thought, you know what? Yeah, I, I'll do this. But then they started, you know, to charge. Well, they charge if you want to sell anything. And it's very expensive. It's very costly, you know? So I thought to myself, okay, what can I do? So I thought, you know, I, I, should I go back to physical? I mean, yeah, should I go back to physical? Because it's fun to collect. It's fun to do all those stuff with collection. And you don't have to have a device with you all the time. I get it. It's convenient if you have a device to read a lot of books. You know, you don't have to, you don't have, to have a lot of, a lot of uh, books consuming space, but... It's that you don't have to charge your device as well. Anytime you can pick up a book and read, that's one of the best parts about it. So, you know, uh, I found some sites. I found some sites around 2019, okay, one site, that maybe a few, I can't remember, but this one site I did a video on, you should check, it's a very old video. Basically, when you read the description and stuff, it sounds so promising. They'll, they'll sell it for you, they'll work on all the sales and all the other stuff. And guess what? They will not take any money from those sales, which is so ridiculous to even hear that. I'm like, wait, what? They will not take any money from the sales you make? It has to be some kind of joke or some kind of... It can't be true. How do they make money? How do they even make money, you know? Because when you're selling a book, you have to take at least some kind of money and give the rest away. You have to get, take some kind of cuts, you know, because you're selling the book. But they, they stated that they'll print everything and they will not take any money. They'll, they'll focus on the sales and putting your books out there, but they will not take any money. Which is like, wait, what? That sounded so bizarre, but honestly, uh, this year I decided to check the site again. I looked for it. I found it and I'm like, okay, let me read some reviews on it before I do anything. Read some reviews, people are saying, you know what, it just, you know, go different ones. Okay, fine. I find another site. And this site, I think it's more American. And uh, this site, yeah, it, it was mostly based in America. Now, the only issue with this site is that I, I read some reviews and people were giving a lot of mixed reviews, you know saying that it charges too much and stuff, so I said, okay, fine. Now I, I found another site. This site, however, prints your books. You can just choose how many copies you want. You have to phone them if you're making more than 500 copies, but I think that's kind of normal, phoning certain brands if you're going to make a lot of copies. You know, you make a deal and stuff, and, you know, a nice amount of money you pay for that. You don't pay too much, too much, because you're buying a lot of copies and stuff. But anyways, um... Basically, you, you buy those things, the books, once you, once you, you know, post what you want wants to be printed on the site, they'll print it for you and they'll ship it to you. You have to sell it on your own, though. I don't think the site sells it for you, so you have to sell it on your own. Now, that seems a bit interesting, but then it's like, how am I going to do this? Because 
trust me, my my place is not a place for shipping. I can't ship things over. I can't do things because my room is very small. Even if I make that much of space, it's that I have to watch out if nothing goes in it, no germs, no virus and stuff. I have to be extra careful. So also, if I'm going to do that, you know, I have to make sure everything is properly written, addresses are written, things are written down. I know it sounds very, very fun as well to do something like that, like, you know, post, sell your own books, you know, because I was about to do that, but obviously I'm just going to wait a bit for this. Uh, I remember when I found out that this, there's a site that exists like that. So I thought to myself, hey, you know what? You know what? I will basically even ship it in, in these custom-made boxes, which I thought would be so cool, you know? Get custom-made boxes, put the books inside, like a little gift book, a little, little gift box, and then put it in a bigger box for, for, for shipping. And that seems so cool, I know, I know, very cool. However, here's the issue. I just, uh, I just hope that'll work, because what if, the, what if I mistakenly put in the wrong address, or what if the address is written in the wrong way, you know? I, I worry about that, you know? The next thing is bookstores. Now, this could be an easy thing. I could find, I just thought about it now, maybe I could find some bookstores that, that'll accept any type of book, not just not just the fancy smancy ones, or you have to break a deal with them. Bookstores will actually allow any book, you know? any type, from even new new creators and stuff like that, awesome. So I thought, why not test it out with a children's book? If you don't know, I want to make two brands. Well, I'm co-creating one, but the other brand I want to make from scratch, which will be mostly mostly uh, for children, because I think, I think, you know, it'll be fine to make children's books. I think it'll also be a challenge as well for writing, because I never wrote a children's book before. I've always written things like that, blood, gore, horror, like a lot of adult things. So writing a ch children's book, it is going to be very interesting as well. Because I also want to make like long stories, but for children, you know, very long, interesting stories. You know, you know, I write certain stuff for certain characters, certain arcs, certain character arcs, certain, certain, you know, stories that just are way too long that you take so much of books, so much of writing just just to complete one story or one part of a story. Yeah, I, I thought why not why not to do the same thing, but you know, I just I just make it uh, for children instead, you know. Make some make some characters, uh, then write the write the story out how you would write a big story in the brand you co creating, but just make it family friendly, you know. Just to be clear, I'm not copying and pasting what what I make on the first one for this. No, I'm making my own brand new set of ideas for this brand, and I just want to I just want to make the stories at least longer, with more more character arcs as well. Because if you have more character arcs, uh, it'll be very interesting as well. You know, it'll be much more interesting to read. You know, get people involved in reading. If you don't know, I used to be very good at reading when I was a kid. Um, I was so good at reading when I was a kid. Yeah, there was there were the occasional words that I couldn't understand, but I was still good at reading, you know. And then time passed. I don't know what happened. So I think it's good for children to read as well and have interesting stories and that keep them on the book, so they won't you know lose concentration on other stuff. Because trust me, when you lose concentration on reading, it sucks. It really sucks, especially when you read boring books as well. Hence why I don't really read a lot of popular books or anything like that, because they kind of annoy me, but still, you know. It's like, there are plenty of books out there that I can get my hands on now. Plenty of books. Like, when I was a kid, I couldn't even get many books. Now I can get a lot of books, you know. I can buy whatever I want online and stuff. I can get the best books ever. However, I just want to say, when writing character arcs, um... It will take a long time, so... Character arcs. Yeah. Uh, writing that, that'll be kind of fun, you know, just make it so interesting. Because I make these stories for the brand I'm co-creating co very interesting. 
so why can't I do that for the same for this? You know, just create some new characters, create a new story. Obviously, I'm not going to copy and paste stories. I think that's very silly to do that, you know, copy and paste and just make it into more child-friendly stuff. That's not the way to go, okay? When, when it comes to writing, you have to be more creative. You have to be more creative. Sure, you can get inspired from certain ideas or ideas you couldn't use over here. Maybe it was too long or maybe it just didn't help the story. But at the end of the day, you can't just copy the same story I written for one particular thing in a brand and put, put it for the same but just change it up a bit. No, I won't do that. I will, I'll make an original story because I think that's fun to make original stories, you know. The more original stories, the merrier. Am I right? Anyways, so I thought I want to test out the waters for a children's book that'll be kind of fun. Maybe make it, maybe make a few children's books. You know, one could be with character arcs, another can just be like a once-off book with one character, you know, and that character can be having its own books all the time, you know, but it's like a once-off book, you know. Uh, and I can sell it to some bookstores, and let's just see how it goes. If I test the waters with this, and I know that, hey, I, I can I can sell books for this brand as well. I have a lot of comics for this brand that I want to make and obviously it'll be it'll be very difficult to test the waters right now with this brand because it's like who will buy such a thing, you know? L let's test it with this, see, see if I'm ready, make some extra money so I can print out more books for this and test out the waters even further. So far we're going to test the waters with the children's books and then if it's successful we can test the ocean with this. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video. Tell me your thoughts. So far, I want to make a physical book, but I don't know how I'll make a d digital copy. I need to find some ways on Amazon, possibly, because I view at Amazon, you can sell a lot of things, but it's that I don't know so much. Do you have to pay them to st start selling things? I hope not. I just want to sell things off, you know, just sell things off like that, you know without paying a big fee every time. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think it's a perfect idea to sell physical books, especially during these times? However, I think it would be still fun to, to try out something like that, because I've always wanted to make physical books, and, you know, I think back in 2019, I also wanted to make digital copies. But obviously, physical copies felt more fun to have instead, you know? It felt more fun. Fun fact, back in 2019, I wanted to make a few books that were, that were, that were free. I'm not even joking. They're supposed to be free books that you can download online. It's supposed to be so cool. But I thought, you know what? Why make it free? <laughs> Just make it cheap. End of story. Anyways, take care.